ओके हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई वांट टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जी व्हिच इज 9.8 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर विद द हेल्प ऑफ मास स्प्रिंग सिस्टम फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी रिक्वायर्ड स्प्रिंग डिफरेंट मासेस अटैच विद स्प्रिंग एंड स्टैंड एज वेल एज वी आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड मीटर रॉड फॉर टेकिंग the measurement of extension as well as white paper for calculations now let's start our experiment first note down the initial reference position of mass spring system so here you see that our initial reference point is 0 cm our initial reference point of for this so mass spring system is 0 cm now after this suspend different slotted weights to this spring and note the extension in that case now you see here that i am going to attach slotted weights to the spring and then after that i am going to again note the length now this is already our zero reference point before the attachment of slotted weights or before the uh, i am going to suspend the slotted weights now you see here that when i suspend the slotted weights the reading becomes 12.5 Centimeter. You see here that the 12.5 centimeter mark is exactly in front of the 12.5 centimeter mark is our final extension. So the initial extension is a at zero centimeter and the final extension is a 12.5 centimeter. So in meters it becomes zero point. 1 2 now let's start oscillations now i am going to readjust this stand and after this i am going to destroy of this mass spring system such that it oscillates between mean and extreme position this is stop watch now i am going to read the time period for these oscillations now when the oscillations become smooth then after that i will start counting and noting the number of vibrations and the time taken by that total number of vibration and then after that uh, i will then divide the time taken by the vibration divided by the total number of vib vibration Uh, which results as the time period of this mass spring system now i am going to calculate the time period of this mass spring system so let's start noting the time period for this mass spring system 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 19 you see here for 30 oscillations or 30 vibration of mass spring system we get 22 seconds time so now time taken by 30 vibration is 22 second so if we divide 
time taken by the number of vibration divided by the number of vibration then we get the time period of mass spring system which here in our case is 0.73 seconds but in order to calculate the value of g with the help of mass spring system here t square is involved so therefore taking t square uh, so 0.73 second becomes 0.53 second square now comes towards some mathematical calculations as we know that time period of mass spring system t is equal to 2 pi m by k square root but we also know from Hooke's law f is equal to kx f is equal to mg it means that mg is equal to kx now take g to the other side mass becomes m is equal to kx by g so again i repeat from Hooke's law f is equal to kx but f is equal to mg now if we uh, find mass from this equation then mass becomes m is equal to kx by g now we also know that t is equal to 2 pi m by k replace this m by kx by g so if we put m is equal to kx by g in this equation then this equation becomes kx divided by gk cancel out k with k now this equation becomes x by g square root t is equal to 2 pi x by g square root taking squares to both sides and then you see here that t square is equal to 4 pi square x by g now by cross multiplication g goes to this side and t square goes to this side so g is equal to 4 pi square x divided by t square now pi is equal to 3.14 square extension as we already noted is 12.5 centimeter r in meters it becomes 0 0.125 meters so putting value of extension of spring which is 0 0.125 and the time taken t square is already we noted here is 0.53 which results as 9.3 meter per second square which is the value of g r free fall acceleration or acceleration due to gravity the object whether heavier or lighter falls with this acceleration or acceleration due to gravity the answer is a not exactly the same as a our ideal value but as we know that there are some real factors involved and due to some experimental error our answer deviated from the actual value but it is not also large variation or deviation if you want to measure the percentage error then please find error and divide error on original value so when you divide error on original value and multiply it by 100 then you uh, get the percentage error so therefore error means here difference between measure and actual value so our measure value is this and our actual value is this so they find their difference and divided by the original value and then multiplied by 100 so you will get the percentage error so this is our today experiment about mass spring system I hope you learn very basic idea about this mass spring system and how to calculate the value of g with mass spring system you can also calculate the spring constant or the constant of this spring with the help of this mass spring system by simply find out the time period and uh, masses attached to this spring so here in our case the masses are around about uh, 200 grams are attached to this spring so by putting the mass time taken by the number of or time period of this mass spring system you can simply find the spring constant so thanks for your time i hope you learn basic things about this experiment inshallah next time with another interesting video we will be uh, here so uh, if you still not subscribe my channel then please please kindly subscribe my channel thanks for your time